um, when I was shuffling the cards, I got a little bit of an image for you. So I see this duck and it's, um, it's swimming in a pond and somebody splashes like a cup of water at it. And you know the, the, the way the feathers on birds are, um, the way they're, the fibers interlace? It's kind of uh, waterproof. So when this person throws some, splashes some water at the duck, it's like a cup of water I see there splashing it at the duck. It rolls right off its back. So I feel like that's the overall energy for this week where whatever people say, whatever people think of you, whatever um, has been, you know, um, difficult or problematic in the past, this is the week where you don't really care, okay? It's going to roll right off your back. This is a week where you stand firm in your ground. And this is a week where you know who you are and what are the, what, whatever problems or whatever people think about you. It's just you're not going to give it the time of day. This is a really, really good week overall. I do see a lot of emotional satisfaction coming through where you're feeling good about the work that you do. You're feeling good about the people that are surrounding you. You have a lot of emotional fulfillment. And I also feel like you're, some of you might have recently published something, might have sold something, might have uh, created something and you kind of uh, wrapped up the project. And so you're looking back, so sort of like the artists, um, they paint and then they, they, they take a step back. And you're very, very happy with the things that you have in your life. You're very happy with, you know, let's just say, the beginning of the year, things have been rocky. And now at this point in your life, you're feeling really good. You're just like, I can't believe how strong I am. I can't believe that um, the year started out kind of crappy. And here I am right now. I'm really happy. So I feel like you're really, really happy about just how things have turned out for the better. And um, it, it's just a really emotionally fulfilling type of a week. The first card I have out here is the Nine of Cups. Look at her. She's got everything that she wants. This is a wish fulfillment card, but in general, this is about being very content, being very, very happy, and being in a place where nothing really bothers us. We're well fed. We're nurtured emotionally, spiritually, and also physically. I see an exchange of gifts between you and a lot of other people. And it's weird because it's not even Christmas. But I do see like little trinkets here and there, gifts that other people are giving you. Um, I do see banquets. I do see attending parties. And I do see you in a situation where you're trying everything. Um, you're trying everything on the table. You're taking a little bit of a... It's like you have one plate and then you're getting, um, you know, samples of food all around you. Some of you could be, you know, getting married, for example, and you're doing like a cake tasting. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't even know the word, but um, where you're like trying to decide between which outfit to wear and also which cake to buy for your big event. Okay, so congrats for those who are dealing with that. Um, I'm also seeing as well, um, I see like an auction where you have something up for sale and other people are bidding on it and the price keeps escalating, escalating. And so it's making you really happy that something that you produce, um, a lot of people want. So that's that in itself, there's a strong sense of pride. I also see as well, you have little ones running around you. And I feel like they're cooperating with each other. They're playing nice. They're sharing. They have good manners. So that can also make you feel really, really proud. Um, I see somebody with like a lot of antiques in their house. Okay, like um, I see a lot of Victorian like uh, paintings, um, furniture, drapes, um, trinkets as well. And, and it's more like Victorian inspired type of um, furnishing. And um, I'm, I'm feeling like some of you might be into that or you're incorporated in your artwork or in your work or in the work that you do or in your environment. But I feel like some of you might be selling it as well. So um, 
I'm seeing an, you're dealing, you're either dealing with, I see an older woman, like this is a, a very, very elegant looking older woman. She's really elegant. So I see like, you know, uh, gray in her hair and she, she's aged over time, but she looks really, really nice and very elegant. And um, I feel like she might have a lot of Victorian or older style artifacts in her house. And every time you go to her house, you marvel at the all the pretty little trinkets with a lot of details on them. And um, I feel like some of you might have it passed down to you, might have inherited a bunch of these really beautiful artifacts. It could be a grandmother, a mother, or but I feel like she's very elegant. She's always dressed really nicely and she speaks properly. So that could also be you if you're on the older end of the spectrum and you have like a lot of these trinkets in your house. I mentioned before, Pisces are really, really good antique collectors because you have this innate sense where you're able to spot value in, in an object, okay? Um, I feel like Pisces and Cancers. And um, so whatever you feel like you're naturally drawn to, that object has a lot of history. And so I feel like you're marveling at a lot of really beautiful artifacts. Um, if you have been, you know, wanting to get pregnant, um, there is really good news coming through. So I do see images and messages about family planning, new people being added into the household, finally getting pregnant and things like that. I also feel as well, if, if you have like children with an ex and the ex has been a little bit, you know, just stingy or you feel like for whatever reason, you feel like the, the, the arrangement has not been fair. I feel that things are going to smooth themselves out. OK, but I, I don't see you like being passive about it. I feel you taking charge of the situation in order to make things better. And it is going to get a lot better. And you have a no nonsense type of a type of approach about you where if there's a problem, you're going to nip it in the bud and you're not going to be passive about it anymore. Um, it's not to say that you're going to be confrontational, but I feel like you know what's important and you know that I need to win this battle rather than let the, the, the little mini battles wage on. You know, if I don't stand my ground now, they're going to push my boundaries and it's going to extend the, the situation, you know, maybe like five months. So I need to, I need to draw my, my line in the sand. And so you're looking at things from that perspective where let's solve the situation now. Let's not sweep things under the rug because in the past, when we sweep things under, under the rug, they don't get better. So this time I'm going to be more proactive and I'm going to nip the problem in the bud so that they don't escalate. Um, if there has been issues when it comes to custody issues um, with children, living arrangement, um, even, you know, who's paying what when it comes to child support, I feel like the situation will smooth themselves out. I, I do see that there has been, you know, um, issues with exes, in particular, if you share children the the problems um you're dealing with an ex that is uh, a little bit cutthroat and um i feel like the the problem it has been problematic for quite some time and once again it's going to smooth itself out but you have to be a little bit more um i i want to say you have to be a little bit more straightforward about you know telling them what you need and what you want in order for the two of you to arrive at a solution, okay? You have to really, really verbally say what you need and what you want in order to make this arrangement better for everybody involved. So we can't be passive about things anymore. Finances looks really good for many of you. It, it, it looks really good. I see some of you saving up money um, and you're doing so successfully. I see some of you as well needing to change your environment, like needing to change your house. There's too much stuff in your house, too much stuff. Try to declutter your space, okay? It allows energy to flow through and it's just better all around for your emotional and mental health. 
So I feel like, you know, uh, things accumulate energy. People accumulate energy. We need to do um, cleaning. We need to um, we need to rearrange furniture every once in a while in order for the flow in the house to get better. So I feel like you have to declutter your house, and I see you. Um, I, I see you needing to do that. Um, I'm also seeing as well for those who are uh, new parents, or if you have like an older child, like that's under the age of twelve. And then you have a new child. The older child feels neglected. So if you have a new baby and you're constantly coddling that baby and, you know, holding it, which is understandable, it's a newborn. The other child feels a little bit neglected. Okay, so pay attention to both equally, I feel. So I, I see that element coming through. And um, if the other child lashes out, if they're like doing a lot of uh, getting in trouble or whatever it may be, it's because they feel like they, they want more attention. So spend a little bit more time paying attention to that other child too. It's going to be in your best interest, okay? Um, in the love front, you're going to be really, really happy this week. You have a lot of love and support coming through from other people. For those who are single, there is a, a moment where I feel like you're going to start to open up. You're going to start to open up to another person. And what I'm seeing here, we have the lover's card. And this is like indicating to me trips taken with a significant other, movement happening. And I also feel like revival in a relationship or even a love relationship that's getting off the ground. Okay, I have here the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is passion, chemistry, something that you feel for another person and it's making you very excited. So this is like new love to me. There's somebody that you're very, very, very attracted to. And I see Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And uh, the Gemini energy comes out very strongly in the lover's card. But overall, Earth sign and Air sign. This is someone you have a really strong uh, attraction towards. And um, if it's an earth sign, they've been holding back their feelings and you're gonna get an outpouring of emotions. So I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is a little bit on the jealous end, okay? But they don't show it. But they could give you the silent treatment or they could behave very aloof when they're upset or when they're jealous. They have a jealous streak about them. And um, in the past, you didn't know they were jealous. You might have been, you know, talking to other people and then they they, they behave in a little bit of a sulky um, way. And now this is the week where you're like, oh, wow, they were jealous and that's why they were pushing me away or they were jealous. That's why they were being all snippy towards me. So I see that element coming through. They're a little bit more in, 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 they try to control their emotions. So they're not going to, you know, give you this outpouring of um, cheesy, you know, pick up lines or talk about their feelings, but they definitely feel something. And I feel like they are jealous and they don't want to express their jealousy, but you're going to start to realize, and I feel like you're going to, it, it's almost like, you crack the code, you figure them out, and you figure why they behave like this, why they behave like that. And, and it's not because they're telling you, it's because you've observed them. And intuitively, you feel what they're feeling. And so some of you are being becoming a lot more careful when you're uh, around this person. You're trying to do things to show that you care so that they don't feel left out or they don't feel jealous or they don't... Um, feel like you've, you know, you're with somebody else. So I feel like you're being a lot more careful about how you handle this because now you know they care about you. And then I also see like the um, another person that you could be dealing with where you feel really, really strongly about them, uh, like really intense. It's, it's very intense, passion, chemistry. And uh, you don't know where it's stemming from. So they're not like a warm, cuddly type of a person. 
but you feel them looking at you. They're very bold when they look at you. So I see somebody who gives a lot of eye contact. They look you in the eyes and then they enjoy talking to you a lot. But you don't know how to, you, you, you don't see them making a move. But this is also the week where you start to see where they're coming from. So I see a lot of emotions here. Um, emotion, you're picking up and you're sensing and you're feeling other people's emotions. So it's not so much that the people are telling you, hey, I like you. Uh, I want to spend my life with you or I want to date you or, you know, I want to go on a date with you or I want to take you home. Like they're not saying it but you're picking it up from them. So you're picking up the emotions, you're picking up the nonverbal cues, you're picking up their feelings. And as a result, you know how the other person feels about you. So I definitely see a lot of emotional clarity coming in for this week, which allows you to know where you stand with the other person. Um, if it's an air sign, I see this element about, you know, my biological clock is ticking or I see this element about somebody who's very paranoid about getting old, okay? It, it's like they have a checklist. When I'm 30, I'm going to do this. When I'm 31, I want to get this done. When I'm 35, I want to have these things under my belt. It's somebody who's very, very um, productive. They're a hard worker. They're very productive. They also live life in terms of timelines, time frame. I need to live life to the fullest. I'm getting older. So this could be you or another person, but I feel like um, it, it might be the other person where they want to get things done. And so they don't have, uh, well, they have a no-nonsense approach when it comes to dating. They want somebody who's not a project, you know, like someone who's broken, they got to uh, piece back like the, the like glue back the pieces and make the other person hold they're not looking for that they're looking for someone who's ready and who's um, mature and who's capable of building with them so they they don't have time to waste and I, I feel like because of that their energy is very clear very honest very directed the people you're dealing with I feel like you have some amazing people in your life they're very honest about their intentions. They're very honest about, it's like having a good sense of, uh, you know, morality and integrity, somebody who's trying to do the right thing. And I definitely feel like there is attraction between you and another person. You might already be in a relationship. They might be in a relationship. So it doesn't really lead to anything more, but the attraction, the chemistry is right there because both people are very moral. So there's a strong sense of morality here that's very unwavering. So it's like someone you're dealing with someone who's very straight laced. They don't stray. And so if they're married or you're married, there's attraction, but it doesn't get, it doesn't, you know, um, it doesn't get beyond that because they're not available or you're not available. Um, it's going to be a very good week, Pisces. I feel like you're you're sensing how people feel about you. And no words are necessary or no words required, okay? And then you're, once again, things that have bothered you in the past or what people say or the way people behave, it's just going to roll right off your back. It's not going to bother you and you're not letting it bother you. And you have more important things to do. You have people to see and you have people that you know will be... It's, it's like, you know who's important to you. The rest doesn't really matter, okay?